Well, hey, Earth signs. I have voicemails, all kinds of craziness on my phone today. Okay. <laughs> Why do people insist on leaving voicemails? I know. I put in my voicemail. I do not check my voicemail. Please text me. It works. Try it. Earth sign, what's going on for you? Let's do a um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Let's do a little um, Wisdom of the Oracle card for you. Love this deck. Colette Baron reed Love it. What's going on for you? It gives me a bigger picture look at the reading that's coming. Okay. So energy here. Also, if you want to join the tarot class, um, our first live class is June 13th. It's this week. So there is a link below to join the class. If you want to be part of it, um, you're going to have to join the class before the live uh, happens this week. So also we're going to be doing a live for the full moon in Sagittarius. I know. I know. We're going to be doing that. All right. More lives coming. We're going to be doing more lives. All right, for you guys, what is going on for you right now? What's going on to the sea? Ah, interesting, to the sea. I like this card. I got this card yesterday with somebody. Um, this really is about the power of flow. Instead of trying to, you know, push the river. You ever heard that statement, don't push the river? This is about the power of flow, the power of allowing this is a feminine energy card and it is a powerful one because the sea is very powerful it's also feelings allowing your feelings to flow allowing those feelings to flow unencumbered by you trying to direct things or control things all right we're gonna hang on to that one for a second i want to i'll do a little i'll give you a little bit of a little hit of what's going on in this book here it's really about being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how the pieces fit together. A natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? Ooh, I like that. You just have to be in the flow. This is, this is the opposite of the emperor, right? This is the opposite of, you know, the masters of the universe sort of taking, taking charge, taking control. It, it is absolutely the opposite. Allow the universe to move you around. Allow yourself to be in flow. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Ooh, doggy. Yes, indeed. Nine of cups underneath. Feeling self-satisfied, feeling like you have what you want or what you need or both. Um, four of wands here. Ten of Cups. Wow. Really? Eight of Swords? Hold on. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so you can be dealing with a, a Leo or an Aquarius or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like you're in a relationship. This is, I mean, okay, look at this. You could be in relationship or in commitment with someone. This could be Twin Flame Energy and you're about to go through another round of bullshit, okay? This is the Eight of Swords, which is the opportunity here to walk free of something you feel is binding you. These are very happy cards, though. It's like, um, it seems good. It looks good to the neighbors. I feel like there is love here, though, and there's an opportunity for strength, opportunity for building one's... Um, being here's what's coming toward you there's a little bit of a struggle coming toward you here okay and it is about i feel like you are struggling because you are feeling trapped in a situation that has a lot of responsibility that has a lot of um you know there could be kids you know and it seems it looks very happy it seems very happy um whoopsie okay so, wow, um, you could be, there could be somebody um, you wanting to talk to, somebody you're wanting to be with, but you're stopping yourself. You're stopping yourself from reaching out to this person. You're stopping yourself from talking to them because you really are in a committed relationship or you are happy right now. You're doing... Um, 
you feel like you might have found a true soulmate. Like I said, could be a fire sign, could be a Aquarius, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You feel trapped in a situation. It's all in your own mind, though. Like the grass is always greener. Like this is pretty good, but that looks better to me. All right, like underneath there's this like desire, gluttonous desire for more. Nine of Cups is like, I've got everything I need. I want more. He's very self-satisfied. He's very fat and happy kind of a thing. I feel like you want people to fight over you or this could be the partner you're with. You could also be seeing the, per the person that you want to be with as being in a happy situation they seem happy and joyful, and that makes you feel bad because you're not with them. They seem happy. Okay? You're definitely tying yourself down from communicating. You're tying yourself down from, you're like holding, you're like, oh, don't reach out, don't reach out, don't reach out. This could be the person, you know, you could be in a happy situation, and the person who wants to reach out to you is not doing it. You could also feel, this also feels like you may have, you have everything you want. I feel like what's going on though might be something else. There's something coming toward you that's going to require you to, um, you're going to get out of your comfort zone for this situation here. Okay. There's an ending. There's a possible ending and new communication coming in about an ending or a new beginning with somebody. And you felt very self-satisfied about the situation until now, until somebody showed you something better. You could be really holding yourself back, holding yourself down from communicating anything with this person because, oh, I have what I want. I have, you know, I'm doing okay. I, I feel like this is good, but, you know, it's getting less good by the moment because this other person, King of Cups, Strength, Aquarius, is somebody who's like kind of amazing and you are like wanting more. It's almost like you want, you know, you want your cake and eat it too. You want to keep this situation. You don't want to, you don't really want to upset that apple cart, but part of it is making you feel trapped. Like you can't reach out and talk to this other person. I feel like there might be, let's see that one more. Oh yeah. Fire sign. You're dealing with a fire sign who is kind of awesome earth sign. They're kind of awesome. They are, you want them to fight for you. I feel like you want them to fight for you. So you're not, you're not reaching out to them. You're not connecting with them. You're not, 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 not. At the same time, this person is sort of not paying attention to you. All right. I do feel like you have love for this person. I feel like there's feelings here, but this person sort of busy busy bodying <laughs> no this person is busily doing their own life okay and they are somebody who is king of wands you know an entrepreneur someone who has you know has healed from a situation they're just not looking at you earth sign i feel like this is you i feel like you have feelings for somebody who's not looking at you right now who's not paying attention to you right now and that's making you feel you're not, you're resisting reaching out. It's like a game. This five of wands makes me feel like this is a game. Like you have it all here and you want more. And this other person is like not paying attention to you. They're doing their own thing. And you're like holding yourself back from really reaching out. You're wanting them to come toward you. You're wanting this person to take action toward you. But I feel like you're silent, not doing it. Very silent. Um, this king, uh, I'm sorry, this page of swords here. Why is this page of swords here? Yeah, okay. So if you have held yourself back, this person, this person is no talkie. Nope. No talkie. Um, three of cups here. They're a third party. They are a third party. 
um, you might reach out. You might reach out. You might end up having to reach out. If you want to talk to this person, this person is not talky. So this game isn't working. The game isn't working. They're not, they're not going to play this game. Um, and I feel like you have, you really are sort of feeling like you have what you want and what you need, but I really feel like you want this person in your life and you're not really doing anything to bring them except for, you know, sort of putting it out there like, come on, come on back. This is a third party. I don't think they're coming back, but we'll see. I'm going to pull some cards for each individual earth sign in the extended and we'll get some advice for you and see where this is going. Okay. All right. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I will see you on the other side. Link is below for June 12th, earth sign.